back on Central Media, yep. a couple albums on Regain. Yep. What was what's that all about? Well, we did uh, we did seven albums for Central Media, uh, and in 2006 we were out of the contract we had with them, and uh, just figured we'd try something else, you know, to see. We we were with Century for 15 years, so we just wanted to check something else out, and uh, did those two albums with Regain, uh, and uh, we were free again after that. So we we dealed with I think three or four different labels but since Century Media has the majority of our back catalog anyways it was it was pretty easy to get get some terms together and uh, and go back to them and I mean I, I worked with a lot of those people for 20 years now and a lot of them are still there so it's just very easy very uh, kind of a family feeling and it was it was a lot like just coming home again you know to to everybody you know and who uh, which does what work and all this stuff so very easy like putting on an old pair of shoes or underwear yeah pretty much absolutely now your new cd is endless procession of souls what's the inspiration for that all about uh we did the whole album pretty fast i mean we have we have some new blood in the band since the latest release um uh, and that, that contributed a lot to the songwriting. Uh, Tobias, our bass player, who used to be in this member earlier on, okay, right. he had a lot of stuff laying around, and uh, and uh, this was much more a band effort, I would say, than than the previous albums we done, which basically me and Ronnie, my drummer, wrote everything for. So this is like back to the back to the basics, writing together, collaborating in the rehearsal room. Uh, getting everything together everything finished before we enter the studio so it's it's a it's very much a band effort and i i think that the, the inspiration come uh, came from getting new guys in the band really this is the album number 10 yeah it's uh it's quite an album thanks for sharing that with us yeah thank you and uh uh finally uh Right now in America, we're having uh, we have a couple more weeks. We have an election coming up. Yep. Do you uh, have you? What do you guys from Sweden think about the way we do politics over here? Is it similar to what you guys got going on over there? It is definitely. Uh, I think the the, the the huge difference is that it's uh, it's so uh, controlled over here by what kind of uh, finances you can get for running for whatever you're running for. And in Sweden, we don't have that at all, really. But uh, it's uh, it's kind of weird because we don't have candidates running for uh, for uh, leading the country. We have just the parties running, and whoever is the leader of the party will run the, the country and be the prime minister. So it, it's very different. Uh, I've followed a lot of the stuff on TV for for uh, for the American elections, and uh, I mean it, it's. It's interesting in one way, in another way it's like totally fucked up and I can't get it, uh, but uh, it, it's just so much stuff going on and uh, it's uh, it's just weird to see uh, everything that's going on with your with the healthcare system and everything like that and, and like the, how, how the economy has been going the past years and, it, and, and the way it affects the whole world is also very weird. Do you, uh, in, uh, in where you come from, do you have to uh, s register with some sort of a death panel? Is there a panel that uh, dictates whether you live or die depending on the cost of the procedure of your health care? Not really. We're, we're very fortunate, I would say. Uh, on the other hand, we have sky fucking skyrocket in Texas, but that, that does pay for our health care for... Uh, for um, like taking care of elderly, uh, for having a, a good uh, daycare system for children and everything like that. So, in one way, even though I can't think of one time in my life where I ever used it, of course I contribute to 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 whatever for my own uh, for my own uh, getting old or for whatever reasons I would need health care in the future or if I get kids and need you know like for daycare and for everything is, is sponsored by your your taxes so it's a uh, it, it's give and take you know you always think like what the fuck am I paying all this money right, I, I don't right. I don't use it for anything but you know you're using maybe your neighbor or your mom or your sister's kids or whatever maybe so and I'm sure I'll, I'll benefit from it someday so
And finally, do you uh, are you a motorcycle rider, a motorcycle fan at all? I am not. I, I'm a motorcycle fan, definitely, but uh, I don't have the license to ride it. I, w I would love to uh, someday, and uh, I, I really I enjoy like old 40s. 40s bikes like old Harleys and, Nor and Nortons Indians and uh, yeah Indians Excaliburs so uh, definitely uh, I, I enjoy a lot about it and I read a lot about it and uh, hopefully someday on my old age I will be able to get something yeah you can join the Sons of Anarchy yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> fucking A thank you alright